I'm Nancy and welcome to Vlogmas number seven, my mini Vlogmas because I am really, I really am trying to keep these short so I apologize when I go over. I know everybody's time is valuable, especially this time of year where you've got so much going on in your own lives and so much shopping and packing and wrapping and, and just relaxing. Who doesn't like to just kind of veg out in front of the TV with a glass of wine or a hot cup of cocoa and watch the Hallmark Channel all day long. Yeah, that's my kind of day. So anyway, welcome to Vlogmas number, mini Vlogmas number seven. So anyway, I have got, I, I can't believe I have got a wannable box that's been sitting here a few days. I have got my Transcend box that came in yesterday and Stitch Fix came today. I still have Confetti box. I've got my Ipsy Plus. I got my Boxy Charm. I got the three giveaways that I won. And I, I think I got the Confetti box over there to do. So I think probably right after I do this, I will probably, maybe, who knows? Who knows? But um, maybe start my clothing unboxings because I know I have to get those returned. So I'll probably try to do some quick videos after this. So moving right along because you're here for Vlogmas number seven. So we'll start with my Scentsy box. So my Scentsy advent calendar. And we are on number seven, which is right here. And oh, I got another little Scentsy pod. And these, um, you know, if you've watched any of my other unboxings, when you get the Scentsy bars, this is like equivalent to like two or three of those little cubes that are in the, uh, the bars. This is Cloudberry Dreams. I really don't know if I've smelled this one before. So you can just kind of pop this out. You can put it all in one warmer if you want. Um, if you've got maybe several different warmers around the room, you can d divide it up. Sometimes I, I split this into two. Sometimes I split it into three so I can have it um, around the room. Um, if you're in a closed room, um, you know, and you can just use this, this is probably going to smell for about a week. You'll be able to smell it for about a week. In a room like this where I have got the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, the foyer, an office, and a hallway right here, I've got warmers kind of spread out all over, so um, so I might end up using a full bar in here for, for a day, and that full bar, I can usually smell it for about a week, that when I come in that door, I can smell it. Um, some of the ones that are oily, um, I call them, I, I say they're oily, it's probably a better word for it, but those ones sometimes last up to two weeks in this room. So I think the, the bigger the room is, the more the scent has to travel, has a lot to do with how well these perform. And of course, some of, some of them are really faint. And for me, I might only be able to smell it for two days. When I come in that door, if I don't smell it, I know it's time to change it out. I mean, I can lift up the pot and smell it, but to me, I want to come in the home, my home, and just smell it. And I can smell this from here. This is sweet. So what is it? It's a uh, raspberry. I think I smell roses. I can smell some, feel something right here like peach. And maybe softened with vanilla. So, so yeah, sounds like a really weird fragrance combination if my nose is right. Which, my nose has been wrong before. I don't know why. But it does smell like a really sweet one. So I am going to enjoy doing this one. Alrighty, so, so I don't forget, I will take out my Lindt, Lindor truffle, wrong side. Alrighty, so let's pop in and grab one. And I got a blue one. Love these little truffles. They've got that soft milk chocolate inside. So, so good. And the coffee. So, my ruined Christmas tree with my coffee. My 12 days of Christmas. And we are going to use this one next, which is the Merry Mocha. So, that should be a nice mocha flavored one. Which is going to keep me awake to do some clothing try-ons. I don't know. I can smell it through this one. Okay, I was just going to say, how crazy am I? I'm trying to smell through the plastic again. But I can't smell mocha, so that's good. I'm not crazy. I may act crazy at times, but I'm really not. So, on to my wine box. And I can do my flourish here because I lifted this up to put it behind me. So this is by, and I, I still don't know how to say this. It's uh, D-R-I-N-J-K. So is it Drinjk or Drinjk.com? So anyway, they had these advent calendars, and I saw them on Facebook, and I knew I wasn't going to make it to Aldi because, you know, well, I've never been there, and, you know, going to a strange new place is kind of freaks me out. So I did it online, and, uh, yeah, so they had the 12-day ones, and I'm happy with the 12 days because 12 days is keeping me busy enough. I can't imagine doing 
25 days in a row. So number seven, and it tells you about sharing uh, and tagging us and hashtagging, things like that. But anyway, the one I have today is Navara Rose. It's a pretty pink color. I don't know if that's coming through. Navara Rose, and it's from Spain. And these ones, it's good. It's, it's, it will get you two good sized drinks. So if you're doing this as a couple, or you got a girlfriend over or something, this is like two drinks in here. So that's pretty good. I still got leftovers in the refrigerator, and I'll finish them at some time, at some point in time. And um, so, what does it tell me? So it says a Navarra Rose temp Tempranillo. It's bringing back summer in a bottle with this award-winning Spanish rose, aka Rosado. The fun, flirty rose hmm, will delight your lips with a refreshing blend of rad raspberry, tangy strawberry, and just a pinch of peach. This dry yet delicious rose pairs well with outdoor hot tubs, hot tubs, and reminiscing about the summer. And when it gets cold, you kind of like to remember those nice warm summer days that you were complaining and you said, I can't wait to winter. And now winter's here and you're like, I'm never going to complain about summer again. And of course, let it uh, rest for like 10 to 15 minutes for maximum enjoyment. If you really don't care about your enjoyment, you can drink it right away like I do. So the uh, tastes in it are going to be strawberry, cherry, raspberry, lollipop, watermelon. Sweetness is low, acidity is medium, low tannins, and medium body and alcohol. And they give you this description too because once you um, get this, you can... Um, you know, then you can go into the VIP room, which is where I print off these little um, things for myself. But you can also order the wine. And most of them are kind of like out of stock at the moment, but you can, I think they're like pre-orders and things like that. So if you have your favorite, you can order yeah. bottles. And they do sell bottles like this too. So this is perfect. Okay, peering guide. It says potatoes, bravas, feta salad, veggie skewers, mixed tapes, if anybody remembers making mixed tapes from the radios like back in the olden days, and loud stereos. Stories behind the wine. Handcrafted by Shavia, or Javia, a third generation Spanish winemaker who believes that a great glass of wine starts in the ground. The strawberry elliptic rose is made from grapes grown on the same rich lands as the first vines brought to the area by the Romans over 2,000 years ago. Drin JK Wines couldn't be more excited to partner with Javia, not only because he enjoys long walks on the beach. Hey, he kind of sounds like my kind of guy. I wonder if he's 2,000 years old. His uh, flirtatious rosé was a proud silver medal winner at the Catavinum World Wine and Spirits Competition in 2019. So it's fun getting to know a little bit about it, but anyway, let's... Uh, See if I can do this without making too many funny faces. Okay, I got it. Phew, that wasn't too bad. I gotta save my strength for trying on all those clothes later tonight. Alrighty, I've got my napkin, but so let's hope I don't spill. Let's put a little bit in there. That's my favorite little wine glass here, my nutcracker. So cheers everyone. I hope you go out and have a fantastic day tomorrow and a good rest of the weekend. And if you've got a short week next week, I hope you have fun, whether you're with family, friends, or by yourself with your fur babies. I hope you make the most of it and just enjoy Christmas. To me, it's just about remembering and cherishing what we have and being grateful and thankful, kind of like Thanksgiving, but colder with snow. Yeah. So anyway, take care, everybody, and we will chat again tomorrow. Bye-bye.